इट्स नो वेरी बिग प्राइड टू बी कॉल्ड एज एन इंडिया जैसे मैं देखता हूँ कि इन दी डिफेंस सेक्टर रेलवे सेक्टर लॉ ऑफ नेबरिंग कंट्रीज टू स्टार्ट विद देर आर एक्सपोर्ट्स हैपनिंग मेरी स्टेटमेंट को आप कंफर्म uh, करिए कि क्या आप कुछ समय में ये भी देखते हैं कि जब स्किल इंडिया का प्रोग्राम इतना बढ़िया है इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक तो हम बाहर के देशों के बच्चों को भी उसी पॉजिटिव वे से करा के और कंट्री की स्टैम वहाँ बनाएंगे कि वी आर डूइंग पॉजिटिव फॉर द एवरीबडी एज ए ह्यूमन Good evening, everybody. My name is Mukesh Jagga, and we are from the channel Venue Dot Events. Today, we will be speaking with Madam Abilasha Kaur from ESSCI, which is which the it was established under the Companies Act 1956, and the company was born in 2012. Uh, their company has been taking care of the skill development in India, and they have a very nice program of ESTM. Uh, I would like, Madam, you to elaborate on first of all on the AS team. Over to you. Yeah, thank you, Jagaji, and good evening to everyone. Yes, we started our operations in uh, December two thousand and twelve, right. and next week uh, we'll be completing eleven years. And in these eleven years, uh, I mean, I think a lot of work has been done in electronics and hard- hardware per se for their skilling and capacity building. uh if you talk about why ssa was born the reason was that earlier skilling in india was happening under uh, vocational education institutions under itis so when itis and it started in 1950 mm-hmm. but there was a need that some specialized kind of skilling was also required for various sectors uh then in 2012 national skill development corporation with that time ministry of labor and employment thought then why not to have separate organizations for this so if i talk about today so we have 36 sector skill councils and for each and every sector in india let it be banking retail uh, green jobs domestic aerospace uh, i mean you'll think of a sector and you'll have a sector skill council so india has identified some 36 uh, sectors for this uh electronic sector skill council of india was started with the six major industrial associations mm-hmm. like elcina mate elcina takes care of the electronic components then mate takes care of the it hardware part cma which is into consumer electronics pcb which is taken care by ipca then isa which is into semiconductors and then we have uh mm-hmm. then we have elcoma which is into lighting Right. So these six major industrial associations came together with uh, National Skill Development Corporation, mm-hmm. and that is how the organization was born. The main task which was given to us was that we should study the occupation map of ESDM, like you said, that is Electronic System Design and Manufacturing, and we forecast that what kind of job requirements will be there in next two to three years down the line, mm-hmm. and then accordingly we have to check that what kind of skilled workforce we have to complete that particular requirement. so what we do we take uh, various skill gap studies in various sectors and we see okay these are the number of manpower or the workforce which is already available and this is the gap which will be there accordingly with the industry consultation we draft a curriculum and once this curriculum is made we take the industry validation so you can say that almost 30 of the industries they validate that if a candidate will be going through this particular curriculum then they will be able to employ that candidate and i must mention here that these curriculums are 70% is practical hands on training and only 30% is the theoretical concepts which are being covered in these uh, curriculums now once this gets industry validated we get approval from national council of vocational education and training and it becomes a national document mm-hmm. so all the national skill qualification framework curriculums so government has got a website which is for national qualification uh, repository which is there as a register so these qualifications get listed there and then in case anybody who would like to train their candidates let it be the self paid programs or government programs in that case so they use these curriculums these are called qualifications so these qualifications gives the eligibility of the trainer eligibility of the candidate who will be pursuing this program what will be the lab requirements and finally what kind of jobs a student can get once they complete these course so we have got around 102 qualifications uh, like this 
for ESDM sector and for ease of functioning what we have done we have divided the ESDM sector into nine major subsectors like we cover majorly consumer electronics and IT hardware then we have a sector called e-mobility where we have courses for uh, electric vehicles then we have for drones also these days as you see it's a lot yeah. of buzzword and a lot of people workforce will be required in these sectors then it is PCB design and manufacturing security and surveillance solar and LED then you have uh, even for uh, electronic manufacturing you require a lot of people so we have got a EMS as a subsector and also semiconductor and components with a buzzword again these yeah. days and we want that India should get their first fab uh, as soon as possible and government is also working for it. So we have drafted our curriculum around these nine subsectors and then we train candidates under this. And if we talk about numbers, then I could say that around 19 lakh candidates have been trained and certified uh, under these uh, programs. And this training has uh, taken place in around uh, 500 plus districts. So almost you can say not only in tier A or tier 2, but in the remote areas also these training centers were there where candidates have been trained. Uh, yeah. Now, this year, again, the uh, India Soft 2024, on from 17th to the 19th January 2024, at Bharat Mandapam, uh, Pragati Midan, New Delhi, mein ho raha hai. Aap rogo ne unke saath again partnership ki hai with ASC. ASC is export karte hain software ko and that is from where their earnings come in. ESSI CI ka kya role hai uske andar mein and e aap dono ko kaise benefit karta hai by doing a collaboration kyunki collaboration hamesha hi beneficial hota hai sabhi ke liye. Bilkul sir, dekhi hum log jo capacity building karte hain normally we focus uh, I mean Till recently, we were focusing on the Indian market as such. That uh, because government ka bhi bahut focus hai ki uh, aap nirbhar Bharat ya make in India ke upar jo hai ki jitna bhi hum production kar rahe hain, wo jada se jada chahe bahar ki companies ho, lekin wo jada jada production India ke andar mein ho, manufacturing uski. To electronics, hamara aur ESC ka ek common thread hai. Uh, chahe wo alag cheez hai, they are more into export promotion concept where yeah. they ask uh, manufacturers not only to produce for India, but to export it also, as well as for startups also what they are doing. Mm -hmm. So electronics is a common thread between both the association, ESSCI and ESC. And that's how we thought, why not to collaborate? Because this three days program, and we are seeing India soft growing every year on many folds. Yeah. So we thought, let's uh, collaborate with them. Or we also have an eminence award for excellence, okay. uh, which will be focusing more on our educational skilling initiatives, CSR initiatives, innovation initiatives taken by the corporate as well as by academia. So we also have nominations for verticals mein industries or corporates and for academia ke liye ye awards ke liye nominations. We, have, uh, we are asking for these nominations. And uh, uh, same day, the same platform ke andar mein, will be, uh, you can say, will be felicitating these people who have been working hard for various skilling and education initiatives in the country. So I think uh, this is just the starting of collaboration and we right. look forward that we'll have uh, to be a greater uh, association in the coming years also. Yeah, that's right. It takes time, but ultimately it builds up. Jo uh, ye awards hain, ultimately it is on any specific field like electronics hai, ya jaise drones ka koi ek alag, uska bhi award hota hai, ya kaise hai, or it is in general. Yes, sir. It is uh, focusing only on the electronic system design and manufacturing industries only. So, ESDM we cover in But in this case, we have categories in mm -hmm. Categories mein jaise CSR initiative hai, mm -hmm. aur, ya aapka innovation hai uske mein, ya startup hai. Even uh, uh, you can say the entrepreneurship also, we have taken part, uh, one of the component in this. But in this case, major major awards hai, wo, uh, is basically on the initiatives what have been done in these platforms. Rather than saying that you have done semiconductors mein kiya hai ya drones, then your initiative can be in any field, mein ho sakta hai, but electronics hardware related field. Mein hona okay. Out of curiosity, because drones, I listen to them, they go to weddings, they go to weddings. I'm sure this would have really helped and or kuch iske upar elaborate kare kyunki ye mainly me information and i would also like to learn more about drones anything you would like to just give us a more insight yes yes so sure. so uh, two years back our finance minister madam nirmala sitaraman in her budget speech she announced that uh, india would like to be a drone hub 
और उन्होंने ड्रोन शक्ति के नाम से एक अनाउंसमेंट किया था और जो हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी का विजन है वो ये है कि 2030 तक इंडिया एक मेजर ड्रोन हब जो है वो बनना चाहता है इसके अंदर में जो अनाउंसमेंट हुआ था ड्रोन शक्ति का उसमें था कि कुछ एक कंपोनेंट्स के ऊपर में बोला गया कि आप जो है उसको इम्पोर्ट नहीं करेंगे इंडिया के अंदर में बनाएंगे कुछ एक कंपोनेंट्स जो नहीं है वो डेफिनेटली जो है बाहर से आ सकते हैं दूसरा ड्रोन पायलट बनने के लिए एक डी जो है हमारी अथॉरिटी उससे एक लाइसेंस लेना पड़ता है right. तो ड्रोन स्कूल अगर किसी ने खोलना है या डी लाइसेंस अगर लेना है तो उसमें काफ़ी सारे फॉर्म्स थे और उसको यू कैन से दैट द कम्प्लीट प्रोसीजर वॉज आई मीन यू कैन से नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट सिम्प्लीफाइड सो इफ समी वॉन्ट्स टू ओपन अ ड्रोन स्कूल एंड वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट ट्रेनिंग इट इज़ वेरी वेरी सिंपल यू जस्ट हैव टू फिल फ्यू फॉर्म्स ऑनलाइन एंड यू कैन गेट दैट Uh, साथ साथ इसके ड्रोन का जो यूज़ है अगर मैं यूज़ केसेस की बात करूँ कि कैसे यूज़ हो रहे हैं ड्रोन्स तो उसके लिए जो है एक तो हर साल जो है एक भारत ड्रोन फेस्टिवल जो है वो स्टार्ट हो गया है फॉर क्रिएटिंग अवेयरनेस एंड एडवोकेसी अक्रॉस इंडिया के किस किस जगह पे ड्रोन का यूज़ कर सकते हैं इसी तरह से एक लैंड रिफॉर्म स्कीम है स्वामित्व करके नाम है उसका गवर्नमेंट का जिसमें लैंड रिकॉर्ड्स को जो है वो ड्रोन की मदद से जो है वो कम्प्लीट सिस्टमेटिकली उसको डिजिटाइज कर रहे हैं क्योंकि एक एक जगह जाना और लैंड को अगर हम मैनुअली करना चाहें तो इट वॉज जस्ट नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल बट ड्रोन्स आर I mean, I have been a great help for this particular program. Even Gujarat के अंदर में जो है वहाँ पे एक forest area के अंदर में जो seed plantation है वो drone के through किया जा रहा है इसके अंदर में हम लोगों ने मध्य प्रदेश में जो है हम लोगों ने forest division के साथ में they have bought few drones and we have trained their people also कि उसमें जो surveying का जो काम है वो drones के through किया जा रहा है drones का काफ़ी use जो है वो mining sector के अंदर में जो है हो रहा है even फॉर हेल्थ केयर ऑल्सो कोविड के समय पर नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन में और काफ़ी जगह पर जो मेडिसिन कोविड वैक्सीन स्पेज नहीं थी उसमें ड्रोन्स का जो है काफ़ी इस्तेमाल किया गया तो आई 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 कैन से दैट येस आने वाले साल के अंदर में जो विजन है बाई टू थाउजेंड थर्टी डेफिनेटली वी आर ऑन द राइट ट्रैक और इसी के अंदर में वैन वी नो के इतना सब जगह पर ड्रोन अगर यूज होगा तो वील रिक्वायर द ट्रेन मैन पार ऑल्सो सो वी हैव फ्यू कोर्सेज ऑल्सो लाइक ड्रोन मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड असम्बली टेक्नीशियन ड्रोन सर्विस टेक्नीशियन इन कोर्सेज के अंदर में हम स्टूडेंट्स को ट्रेन करते हैं कि उसको असम्बल कैसे करना है ड्रोन को ट्रबल शूटिंग कैसे करना है उसका जैसे आपका इट्स लाइक आई मीन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्रोडक्ट सो उसके अंदर में अगर कोई सर्विसिंग होना है तो वो कैसे होना है उसके अंदर में और इसी के अंदर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट के अंदर में डिपार्टमेंट है डायरेक्ट्रेट ऑफ जनरल ट्रेनिंग जो कि पूरा कंप्लीट आईटीआई डिवीजन जो है वो देखते हैं तो आई में हम लोग को उन्होंने ऑर्डर दिया है कि हम फाइव मास्टर ट्रेनर्स बना रहे हैं जो हमारे बनाए हुए कोर्सेज हैं वो इन चोजन आई टी के अंदर में रोल आउट हो चुके हैं तो अब इन्हीं सभी कॉलेजेस के अंदर में जहाँ पे बच्चा सिर्फ रेफ्रिजरेशन एयर कंडीशनिंग वॉशिंग मशीन या कंप्यूटर के कोर्सेज करता था वहाँ पे अभी ड्रोन के कोर्सेज भी जो है वो वहाँ जाके कर सकता है और हम लोगों ने करीब चार महीने पहले ये ट्रेनिंग शुरू की थी और बाई जनवरी तक जो है हम फाइव मास्टर ट्रेनर्स जो है वो अक्रॉस इंडिया और डी के साथ मिल बना दे रहे हैं सो ये कुछ एक चीज़ें और आने वाले समय में आप बहुत सारे और यूज़ केसेस देखेंगे कि ड्रोन्स को कैसे इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा है इट्स अ वेरी बिग सनराइज इंडस्ट्री वॉट आई कैन थिंक ऑफ एंड क्योंकि जब कोई भी एक इंडस्ट्री नहीं उठती है तो जनरली गवर्नमेंट कोई सब्सिडी देती है बनाने के लिए या कुछ और इंसेंटिव देती है इसके लिए क्या कुछ इन ड्रोन्स पर जैसे हम बात कर रहे हैं कुछ अभी कोई ऐसा इनिशियटिव है और इट इज़ इन द मेकिंग एंड maybe in one year or two year the policy might get again defined yes sir government ka jo ek abhi ke samay mein main bataun ki jo kafi successful ek initiative hai wo hai pli scheme yeah. sarkar ki production linked incentive that's i think so even in the semiconductor yes part. sir yes yeah. sir uske andar mein jo hai usme mobile hardware electronic components white goods bahut sare alag alag sectors ke liye hai aur last year jo hai drones bhi usme include kar de gaye mm-hmm. and i'm happy to tell you drone is the only industry jisme wo ye nahi mangte ki aapka industry 3 saal purana record dijiye kab bana hai यानी कि अगर आज आपने एक नया कंपनी खोला है तो भी गवर्नमेंट आपको सपोर्ट करने के लिए रेडी है वो उसके अंदर में कि अगर आप इसमें काम करना चाहते हैं सो दे आर मोटिवेटिंग पीपल टू कम टू गेट दिस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड देर स्पॉन्सरिंग ऑल्सो इवन अच्छी बात यह है कि जो ड्रोन कंपनीज कुछ साल पहले शुरू हुई थी उसमें से कुछ एक ड्रोन कंपनीज ने अपने आई भी निकाल दिए हैं सो दैट कम्प्लीटली शोज द वे द सेक्टर इज ग्रोइंग एंड वट काइंड ऑफ जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड द ग्रोथ वॉट वी सी इन द कमिंग ईयर येस गवर्नमेंट इज डेफिनेटली सपोर्टिंग दिस इनिशियटिव एंड डिफरेंट लेवल्स एंड इन डिफरेंट कैपेसिटीज फ्राम द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो एंड वेरियस स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो आर डेफिनेटली इवन ऑन दिस अगेन ड्रोन पार्ट सो
असिस्टेंस इन दी मास्टर ट्रेनिंग्स एक्सेट्रा क्योंकि हर कोई तो दिल्ली नहीं आ सकता तो अपने गांव में हैं या शहर में हैं या स्टेट में बैठे हैं तो कुछ ऐसे ऑफिसेस वहाँ भी बने हुए हैं और और दे आर इन द पाइप लाइन अगेन बिल्कुल सर जैसे मैंने आपको बताया कि जो 19 लाख कैंडिडेट्स ट्रेन हुए हैं ये मैंने आपको बताया करीब 570 डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स के अंदर में कवर हुआ है तो पाँच सौ फाइव सेवेंटी डिस्ट्रिक्ट के अंदर में मेजरली जैसे हमारे जॉब रूल्स रहते हैं फील्ड टेक्नीशियन फॉर कंप्यूटिंग पेरीफरल फॉर नेटवर्किंग स्टोरेज फॉर सी सी टी वी फॉर सोलर पैनल इवन मल्टी स्किल टेक्नीशियन एक जॉब रूल स्टार्ट हुआ पोस्ट कोविड वैन पीपल वर मूविंग फ्राम सिटीज टू देर विलेज सो वी हैव एडेड आ एंटरप्रेनोरियल मॉड्यूल इन टू इट एंड वी वॉन्टेड दैट ओके इफ यू नो दैट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एंड रिपेयर आ माइक्रोवेव आर ओ वाटर प्योरीफायर मिक्सर जूसर ग्राइंडर then you can start your own firm also and on a small level also without much of investment so these are some of the courses which are very very popular same way drones ke liye bhi jo hai wo definitely jo training centers hain wo alag alag jagah pe jo hai wo available hain aur maine aapko bataya ki iti to sabse bada network hai yeah. aur ab sabhi iti's ke andar mein bhi ye courses jo hai wo start ho ja rahe hain even uh, uh, if you remember few days back uh, modi ji has announced that uh, uh in small hub groups also which are self help groups are there so they will be training uh the ladies at village and district level also and they will be called drone didis okay. so unke wahan pe bhi jo hai wo drone ko kaise utilize karna hai to us grassroots level ke upar bhi jaake jo country ka focus hai that people at the end uh, milestone also should be introduced to these technologies and they should be able to use these technologies yeah in the movie it was shown in one of the movies and it became popular आज आप किसी भी वेडिंग में जाते हैं तो आपको ये शॉर्ट मैंडेटरी हो गए हैं सो ऑबियसली आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इन बिग सक्सेस इट विल बिकम डिफिन जैसे आपने कहा कि 19 लाख पीपल यू हैव ऑलरेडी ट्रेंड इन 11 इयर्स व्हिच इज़ ए सस्टेंशन नंबर देर वुड बीन डेफिनेटली सम सक्सेस स्टोरीज हैपनिंग इन सम स्पेसिफिक एरियाज जिन पर आप फोकस कर रहे हैं वो इंडिविजुअल भी हो सकती है किसी कंपनी की भी हो सकती है किसी सेक्टर की भी हो सकती है एनी थिंग यू वुड लाइक टू हाई लाइट बिकॉज इट अल्टीमेटली पम्प्स अप एवरीबडी इन लाइफ कि वॉट ए गुड सक्सेस वी हैव सीन एंड वी हैव बिकम ए नेशनल और ए ग्लोबल प्लेयर सो एनी थिंग यू वुड लाइक टू शेयर सो आई टेल यू अबाउट द करेंट इनिशिएटिव वॉट वी हैव टेकन so uh, we undertake various uh, csr activities of different corporates so last month only we have completed two of our projects so these were two samsung projects what we did so one was samsung digital and offline skilling samsung dost so at 52 locations we have trained around 2000 candidates and these 2000 candidates first they got the classroom training with hands on training and they later on were observed at different stores uh and they were into 5 months of internship and this was a paid internship what the these students got also samsung innovation campus is a csr initiative uh, worldwide and the, the training is being given on various futuristic technologies like artificial intelligence big data iot coding and programming so for india it was the 33rd nation where this program was launched and the same curriculum is i mean whether you study at australia US or Canada or India the same curriculum is being adopted here and we have trained around 3000 candidates last year november we uh, started and this 30th of november we have closed so 3000 candidates have been trained in seven states at eight locations mm-hmm. and almost one third have been trained only in uttar pradesh only for uh, okay. uh, these programs same way another initiative which has because these initiatives help a student because a candidate was pursuing let's say bsc computer science bc or btech so that was more of a vanilla plain degree right. whereas these kind of courses where he has been uh, i mean he has made a capstone project or he was part of a hackathon and then he get the samsung innovation campus a globally recognized certificate so definitely their employability quotient has increased so a lot of students who uh, have tagged us on our various media platforms and sent thanks note to the company and to us also that yes definitely it has bring a lot of uh, good results after completing this programs another program i would like to mention is with lg so with lg also uh, we have come up with a concept of lg hope technical skill academies mm-hmm. so first of the academy we have uh, developed here at uh, nsic delhi only 
and this uh, initially it's a three uh, year project where uh, uh, we trained 600 candidates every year for them mm -hmm. and we have drafted the curriculum with the industry experts with the lg experts only so it's a complete more like a gurukul kind of a system where you say that mm -hmm. seven to eight hours of training every day mm -hmm. uh, morning students get two bananas then they get lunch then they get a uniform a kit and all the facilities all classrooms and everything is a world class facilities with all smart classrooms Mm -hmm. uh, and complete lab equipments which are there so and uh, we got very good results from this you can say almost all our students got placed before right. they completed their co uh, course also mm -hmm. and by seeing this initiative then lg has given us the offer to start two more academies so we started in hyderabad uh, two months back and mm -hmm. last month we started in chennai also okay. and uh, last week we have signed up in the presence of uh, uh, cm of Gujarat that mm -hmm. we'll be coming up with one more academy at Ahmedabad. Okay. So I think these, you could say almost 6,000 candidates now who will be trained. And these candidates are trained as multi-skill technician for consumer durable. I mean, I can say now India is the populous nation with 1.4 billion. Yeah. And everybody is using some kind of a consumer electronics item. So the demand is increasing. So same way their installation, their repair, mechanic, technicians will be required. So these kind of workforce, how we are developing it, and it's a complete hands-on training. So only you can say 20-25% student studies from the book. And other is, I mean, they open the complete washing machine, let's say. And the complete uh, consumer electronics uh, division is being covered into this. Like we train them for uh, TV, a washing machine. Now dishwasher has, the uh, sales have increased after COVID. So you require dishwasher technicians microwave uh, then you have uh, and we tell them also as a if a ac technician is coming to your home then how they have to install it how they have to enter so there are various walls have been made and mm -hmm. a setup has been made so where how you have to take out your shoes how you have to talk to the customer so all these things are included in this curriculum and i can see and people got uh, were coming from various remote areas of nearby states also and i can see after three months i mean the kind of transformation what they have got and now they are really happy in their job. So it gives a lot of satisfaction also by seeing these uh, success stories of students. And uh, our aim is that we keep on, I mean, it's just that we have just started, I say 11 years is the baby steps. And there's a long more miles which has to be covered. My personal opinion is this. And I'm a very strong believer of this part. Every Hindustani is very important. Our four parents, I won't say four fathers. For parents, because mothers have played a very big role in the success of every individual. Uh, our younger times, there was a door that everyone wants to go outside. Today, there is a door that wants to go outside. They don't want to go outside, but they want to go outside. And now, they want to go outside. And now, they want to go outside. And now, they want to go outside. कह रहे हैं कि अपने बच्चों को कि वह वापस आइए क्योंकि जो जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज बिजनेस अपॉर्चुनिटीज बिकॉज ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन विच इज ए बोन एंड अ बेन बोथ विथ यस इट्स नाउ वेरी बिग प्राइड टू बी कॉल्ड एज एन इंडिया जैसे मैं देखता हूं कि इन द डिफेंस सेक्टर रेलवे सेक्टर लॉ ऑफ नेबरिंग कंट्रीज टू स्टार्ट विथ There are exports happening. मेरी statement को आप uh, confirm करिए कि क्या आप कुछ समय में ये भी देखते हैं कि जब skill India का program इतना बढ़िया है in electronics, तो हम बाहर के देशों के बच्चों को भी उसी positive way से करा के और country की stamp वहाँ बनाएंगे कि we are doing positive for the everybody. As a human, Ab absolutely, sir. Completely agree and confirm what you are saying. And not only in the one facet, but I'll tell you about how multi facets will be helping in this. As we know that uh, demographic dividend is one of the advantage what India is having, and our average age of population is around 28 years. Whereas when we talk about South Korea or Japan or for other nations also, the population has started declining, and their average age is around 47 years. So not only, and uh, the government also says, and the vision is that 
India doesn't want to be a only a skill capital, but India should become the skill capital for the world. Yeah. So that students who are getting trained here, they are the one we can sync our courses, we can sync our programs as per the international requirement standards, and students getting trained here and going there. Also, some of the countries are looking for advisory uh, functions. Also, like we have National Skill Development Corporation, who is the apex body in India for skilling. So they, are, I mean, they have got a portal called Skill India Digital, and a lot of other countries who are calling and asking them for advice. Okay, you have built a complete skill ecosystem here in the country. Why don't you advise us that how we can also undertake these activities? And we know, I mean, the various things. Let it be our COVID vaccine or UPI, other things which we have made on the uh, open platforms and we are giving advisory uh, consultancy services to other countries also. Same is happening in the skilling ecosystem also. A lot of countries look forward for our advices and our consulting services on this and definitely students who have gone out as I said because of the demographic dividend also and the kind of uh, employment opportunities which have come up in last 5-10 years here yeah. and uh, I mean if we talk about India then the third largest startup ecosystem which is happening in India if we talk about uh, the uh, I mean various initiatives what government has taken for making Atmanirbhar Bharat or make in India or Startup India in the same case for Skill India also so yes and after G20 I think a lot of other countries have started looking up the kind of reputation you can say the increase what we see when we speak to other countries on different platforms also so definitely so it's world uh, you can say that uh, one world one nation one family so I think it echoes the same message for the skilling ecosystem also for sure right uh, lastly, one of the questions is that uh, how much time does it take or is there a designated one year or a six months or a two year course for doing the Skilling India program uh, and uh, is there any fees which is attached to it and how much it is uh, so that it is then uh, within the range of as many people as possible because it's a government of India initiative. Yes, sir. So there are all kind of formats which are available in training. So we have uh, our country has launched the national credit framework uh, this year, and uh, which says that the complete uh, uh, education ecosystem, let it be school ecosystem, uh, your AICT, UGC, or our skilling initiative, all sector skill councils, everybody is aligned and synced with this national credit framework. So they said that in India, the complete education system is divided into eight levels. So level one is they said that students who are fifth pass or less than that, that is level one. Uh, students till class eight becomes level two. Anybody's class 10th becomes level three. Class 12th becomes level four. And every year of graduation, 0.5 is added. So by the time a student completes a graduation of three years or a four years, they get level six. And same way then post-graduation level seven and PhD becomes level eight. Uh, as per the NCRF, whatever course we are doing. So first of all, the duration of our programs, we have short skilling programs. Mm -hmm. So short skilling programs duration is normally, you can say from uh, one month to nine months maximum. It's less than a year what we have. And majorly, most of our programs ranges between three to six months mm -hmm. uh, in this. And uh, we say that the foundation level of degree is completed in either in your school or our diploma institution or a uh, uh, technical institution or a university. And once you want to get aligned to the ecosystem for getting employment, that is where our courses come ahead. So there are a lot of courses for mechatronics, for VLSI design, for IoT, for embedded systems, for electric vehicles, which are being offered to the students who are pursuing diploma or degree in various colleges. So they can do this program. Three days back only UGC has announced that the university and educational institutions will be able to uh, give the short term skilling programs also with the help of sector skill councils. So yes, and uh, government sponsors a lot of programs. Right. Uh, government scaling program. Central government also, as well as every state government has got a budget, so they also sponsored. Also, there are some programs which are student paid also. Mm -hmm. So all kind of models are existing in the ecosystem and uh, as per the different strata of society. So I think, uh, uh, I mean, uh, there is a complete mix of the programs. Some are even sponsored, like I said, for LG, Samsung and other. So there are some programs which are sponsored by the industries also. So you'll find industry sponsored, company sponsored 
and uh, self-paid programs. Yeah. All three kind of programs okay. are available. But like the LG one or the Samsung one, how much time do they take to train a student? Is there a fixed tenure what they do it or how does it work? Yes. So, you can highlight that. Yes, sir. Look, the execution part of training is the ESSCI. Uh, for example, as I told you, there is Samsung Innovation Campus. Samsung Innovation Campus is fixed in the curriculum. So, in that, there is 260 hours of training. So, there is training in that capstone project. Or 90 hours of training, so there is 4 days of hackathon. So, the time and time duration are fixed. उसके अंदर में हम कॉलेजेस के स्टूडेंट्स जो हैं उनको लेते हैं और उनके टाइम टेबल के हिसाब से कि एवरी डे टू आर्स या फोर आर्स या सिक्स आर्स डिपेंडिंग बच्चा क्या कोर्स कर रहा है उसके हिसाब से वो नंबर ऑफ आर्स हम कंप्लीट करते हैं एल के जो हम प्रोग्राम करते हैं उसमें जो हमने उनका एक नेशनल स्किल क्वालिफिकेशन फ्रेमवर्क के साथ में अलाइन करके जो प्रोग्राम बनाया है वो करीब सिक्स आवर्स का प्रोग्राम है तो वो छः घंटे का प्रोग्राम जो है वो अराउंड थ्री मंथ्स के अंदर में जो है वो कंप्लीट होता है इसके साथ साथ कुछ ट्रेनिंग्स होती है रिकोगनीशन ऑफ प्रायर लर्निंग जिसको हम बोलते हैं आरपीएल जिसमें गवर्नमेंट बोलती है कि आप ऑलरेडी काम कर रहे हैं और शायद आप पिछले 10 साल 5 साल या 25 साल से काम कर रहे हैं बट आपके पास एक सर्टिफिकेट नहीं है एक फॉर्मल एजुकेशन नहीं है आपके पास तो उस केस में क्या है कि हम आपको एक ब्रिज कोर्स 30 आवर्स की हम एक ट्रेनिंग कराते हैं और फाइनल डे पे एक एग्जाम कंडक्ट करते हैं और हम आपको सर्टिफाई कर देते हैं तो वो है रिकॉग्निशन ऑफ प्रायर लर्निंग तो इस तरह से अलग-अलग ड्यूरेशंस हैं जो अलग-अलग कंपनीज की रिक्वायरमेंट रहती है कुछ कंपनीज की रिक्वायरमेंट रहती है कि हमारी वर्कफोर्स पहले से है आप उसको जो है 5 डेज का ट्रेनिंग करा दीजिए अपस्किलिंग सो इस तरह से कस्टमाइज्ड ट्रेनिंग्स भी जो हैं एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट वो भी जो है हम लोग कंडक्ट करते हैं इसके लिए इस दिस ऑल ऑनलाइन or offline or a mix hybrid uh, uh, it is a mix you can say now uh, most of the programs is uh, you can say a hybrid mode where in case we are asking some visiting faculties or somebody from outside then they give the online otherwise our trainings are mostly hands on training so hands on training are mostly they are physical trainings what we have okay. so depending on which course we are pro- uh, the training is provided that is how the mode is used okay yes. uh, thank you dr vilasha god uh, CEO of ESSCI. Very good insight I've got. Thoroughly impressed by 19 lakh people in 11 years. Uh, and say that you get in more numbers and the skill India program becomes a bigger success. Thank you very much again. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, venue.events channel also that you gave us this opportunity uh, that we could tell the public also and the general uh, candidates who would like to explore the job opportunities into electronic system design and manufacturing sector also. And I'm sure these kind of awareness and advocacy programs will get a lot of benefit. And uh, definitely we also work for the success uh, of various initiatives what the government is taking and we just playing a part for the electronics industry to take it further. And uh, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.